Now let's talk about stitch regulation. That is the greatest thing with the Capri. We have the inside stitch regulation. So we have these sensors on either side of the needle and they sense the movement of the fabric. So when I press my fabric or move my fabric over, I'm gonna bring up my bobbin thread. I've got it set on the regulation and at this point, I'm going to do, leave it in precision. So that means when my needle is, uh, when, I, when I press the foot pedal, the needle's not gonna move until I move my fabric. So you can see how that works. So I've, I've pressed the foot pedal and it went down, but it's not moving or stitching until I move the fabric. When I stop moving the fabric, the needle stops somewhere in that revolution of that needle going up and down. Not necessarily down or not necessarily up, just wherever I stop. Then when I start stitching, see it stopped in a different place. My foot pedal is still down, but I stopped moving the fabric. So why would I use precision? Precision is great for when you're using rulers and you're adjusting the position of the ruler. Okay, now I'm gonna change it over to cruise. So in the cruise mode, I'm going to set my cruise at about 100 stitches per minute and my stitch length to 13. So my stitch length was the same as it is here. Now you're gonna notice when I press the foot pedal, the needle is going to start going up and down in a cruise speed. So I'm not moving the fabric, but when I start moving the fabric, it gives me that 13 stitches per inch. Why would I use cruise? Do you see how it finishes those points? When I get to that point, it takes a couple of stitches there and I can bounce off. The other thing is I love it when I'm stitching over the top of something. Say if I'm doing feathers and I'm stitching over the top of the feather, it is great because it just allows the needle to keep moving and so that I can keep uh, accuracy as I'm stitching. So I stitch over that. Keeps my stitches at the accurate stitch length. And I can just stitch any place I want with this. It's just so much fun. Now, let's talk about, what about the edge of a quilt? If I get to the edge of a quilt, and I'm going to clip my threads here. If I get to the edge of a quilt, then uh, over this far, if I'm at the edge of the quilt, I have this sensor covered. And this one is covered, of course, because that's the edge of my quilt. But if I want to stitch up this way, they're both covered. If I don't give the quilt enough backing, then it's not going to cover that. And it might not read the same. It'll still do the stitch regulation, but it not, might not read the same. So we really recommend that when you build your quilt sandwich, that your backing fabric is two to four inches larger all the way around your quilt top. So that you always have fabric to cover that stitch uh, sensor right there. So if I'm stitching over here, let's do one stitch there. I can get as close as I want to that edge and it's still reading, still reading my stitch regulation, reading the motion of my fabric, giving me that stitch regulation. So that's a really good tip to make sure that you have enough fabric to cover both of the sensors. I am so in love with this stitch regulation. It is so easy to use and I love the cruise the most because I just like to quilt and, and not even think about it so it really makes it smooth. There are times that you'll use your manual mode like micro quilting but for the most part I will stay in my stitch regulation and I will get those accurate stitch stitches per inch using rulers or overall quilting and any of my feet. So, 
Have fun with your new stitch regulation.